Okay, I haven't released a video in a while, and um, it's, it's going to be pretty obvious why once I tell you, I'll jump right into it here. Uh, my wife and I were going to have a baby in January, so I've been getting a lot of things done here um, before the baby comes, probably mid-January or something like that, unless for some reason the baby comes early. Uh, but that's, that's what's happening. That's why, I mean, I, I've been doing a lot of projects, and normally I record those projects, but it... I just have too much to do, so I wasn't recording them. And that's what's been happening in the last few months. But I've made now a, you know, a schedule for myself. I've actually recorded a few videos already. And I, uh, I'm going to start releasing videos again. Should be good. We're going to do some tying videos. We're going to do some projects. We're going to do a whole bunch of stuff. But uh, I'm excited for that. Um, I've also, since the... I've, since the the last time I actually posted, I've upgraded my camera setup. It's a lot better, for sure. It's a lot better. Um, and I'm going to do a video on how I record fly tying videos and basically just give you an overview of my entire setup from the past and now. And everything that I use, all the gear and stuff. Uh, but, um, but yeah, so... Um, the, the next thing is, is that you probably noticed there was an ad in the beginning of this video, and I went back and put ads on all the previous videos. If you don't know anything about ads on YouTube, after a thousand subscribers, you can like apply to have ads on your channel. And if you're approved, if they don't see anything weird, they will, they'll grant you permission to put ads on. I've done that. Um, I waited a little bit because I have, I think a little over 2000 subscribers now. I've, I waited a little bit to start running ads on new videos. I think this is the first video that I've run a new ad on. Usually I, um, since it's happened over the past maybe three, four months or so, the videos are usually out for a while before I ended up turning on the ads. But now, when a video comes out, the ads will be there. I'm not going to go crazy. One in the beginning, if it's a really long video, I'll throw one in the middle. But that's pretty much about it. If you see, when you watch that, that, new, that new camera setup video, you're going to know why I turned the ads on. <laughs> it's, um, camera setup's a little bit crazy. But, um, and probably overkill, but I'm gonna, I hope to grow into it and I'm gonna use it for other things. Um, but um, the next thing is uh, new videos, like I was telling you, I have a little list here. Of just things I wanna hit, I wanna hit them quick here and I wanna make this a million minute video. But uh, the new videos that are coming, I mentioned that I'm gonna do the how I record fly tying videos. I have a couple fly tying videos. I'm also gonna do a tour of um, my tying room, which is also my office and um, you know, and we're just going to keep on going. I got garage work to do. I'll probably do a video on that. Um, setting up the baby's room. I know it sounds a little ridiculous, but I'll probably do something on that. I'm going to just keep doing videos. I'm going to try and do one a week. That's not try. I'm going to definitely do one a week. I'm going to get a backlog, so it's going to be a little bit easier, especially when the kid uh, is born. Because once that happens, obviously it's going to be a little more difficult to to record. But I hope to have a lot recorded before that happens. Um, and um, and yeah, so um, the last thing is is that one of the problems I had with um, actually keeping up with the channel was our internet. We for a very long time. Uh, so just to go back here, if you don't know, my wife and I we lived in Manhattan. We bought this house and we decided to come up here full time, and we left Manhattan. And this house didn't have internet, uh, but we had satellite internet. There's like different types of satellite internet companies. Exceed is one of them. That's one we had. There's Usenet. That's the one I think pretty much everybody knows. Um, satellite internet is like, it's like direct TV of internet. It's a satellite dish on the side of your house. It hits a satellite in space and that's where you get the internet from. It's not very good. And it, um, it, you could, during the day, you could stream YouTube 480. 720 was a little touch and go. But anything after six o'clock, terrible. It was only really good for work hours. It was only good for work. And it's honestly up until uh, maybe a few weeks ago, that's what we've been using. Uh, it, uh, it definitely saved our life here a little bit. Sam's been working from home, obviously, because what's going on. I've always worked from home, but I never had to do Zoom meetings or anything. The, it, it kept up with the Zoom. I think it's because everybody is using Zoom now and they had to, like, you know, um, like, I don't know what you want to call it, but boost the signal. They had to make sure that um, 
Zoom was working good for people because they were working from home. Um, so that's been working all right. But other than that, I mean, you can't stream Netflix or anything like that. So we haven't watched anything on Netflix in five years almost. Uh, but incredibly, um, maybe about two and a half months ago, we started seeing these trucks going down the road with, with telephone poles and and big spools of cable and we happened to get somebody and you know to talk to them and they said they're going to be putting fiber in here and i was like wow geez, this is amazing i've been waiting forever and about two and a half weeks ago they were done they put it all around in in our ter in our town around where we live just in this area and this is going to totally blow your mind too um they they ran its fiber Right to the house it's called like an epon system and that's basically where it's it's the tv it's the phone and it's everything into one box um and uh, there's no more boxes for the tv anymore but um but this is the part that's amazing uh we since we're in the catskills but Catskills is like slang hudson valley is really the area that we're in um and in the entire hudson valley the town that i live in was the first town to get this fiber and even crazier than that is that my house was the first house. So we're talking about hundreds of thousands of homes. And somehow my house was the first house. I don't know how it worked. I don't think the um, spectrum, that's what we thats what we have. I don't think that they're looking for faster flight time video uploads. I don't think that's what's happening. I think this just, it just, it just happened. We were on the list to be in the area. I know that because I've called them many times and they said, oh, we have the drawings, we have the polls laid out. It's, you know, we're, we're working through it. And we were just on that list and we just kept going up on the list to number one. And as we got closer to number one, they decided they're going to start switching to fiber in, in Hudson Valley. And it just, they just, it just collided. We were number one and they were going to go for fiber. They probably also didn't want to do it in a super populated area. Obviously, the where I live is in the middle of nowhere. I live. I open up my that that shade there, and I can see cows. So um, I have the fastest internet on the planet, and I can look out my window and see cows. So it's it's clearly they wanted to just get used to the system because I tell you, the first day there was like four trucks here, and they just it was like a meeting of the minds. There was five or six guys. They're all putting their heads together. There's freaking you know fiber cable clippings all over the place tools everywhere they got directions <laughs> spread across the hood of their cars i'm like wow and i at that point in time i didn't realize it was the first time they ever done this they were here for 10 hours um and uh it wasn't until like like a couple of days later when i had them set up gigabit which we have now we have gigabit now i had them set that up the guy was like oh how long were they here on uh on tuesday i was like 10 hours He's like yeah you know, you're the first guy. And I'm thinking he means the first guy, like, just in this area. And then he tells me, no, first person in Hudson Valley. <laughs> so it's a little, uh, it's pretty amazing, but we're very happy now. I have every streaming service there is, no demand. If you're looking to start a streaming service, contact me because I will be customer number one. I got every, if TBS had a streaming service, I'd be signing up for that. The, um, I got everything there is. Um, it's, um, it's just, whew, man. It's life changing. Obviously, it's going to be great for uploading videos. Now, 4K, I don't have to upload four kilobytes a second overnight. I don't have to do that. I can just upload six gigabyte video, 10 gigabyte video. I just I set it to upload. It doesn't affect anybody else, and I can do it during the day. It's great. So, everything's good now. And I mean, you know, obviously, baby's coming real soon, and things are not so great in the hospital. So, we're going to see what happens there. Hopefully, everything goes all right. Um, definitely worried about that but other than that um well everything's good and we're about to start uh, posting videos again so i hope you like them thanks